the idiot proof five-step online success process okay so you've been wanting to make some money online you're new at this you just got started you don't know where to start well in this video I'm going to show you the idiot proof five-step process to making some money online and we're getting started right now hey before we get into this don't forget to subscribe hit that subscribe button down there don't forget to turn on the bell notifications so that you're notified every single time I make a new video turn on all notifications all right let's get right into this okay so if you are in a competitive market this video is going to help you okay if you want to get more sales this video is going to help you if you want to make more money this video is going to help you now let's get into it so I can show you the five ways I can help you now if I had known this in the beginning I would have done this but I didn't know it so I didn't do it create an information product I mean that's that's like the easiest thing you can do in the beginning is to create an information product I guess the next easiest way would be to sell somebody else's information product but when you do that you don't build your list because you're building a list for them so my suggestion is build an information product first off let me explain something to you it costs you almost nothing to produce one unless you pay somebody to do it for you okay and it costs you nothing to deliver it to somebody because it's a digital product and as far as getting payments companies like these credit cards processors and PayPal and all that they make it super easy to collect money and you could be making money almost instantly and I want you to think about this a little bit more unlike any other product you could sell a digital product you have total control over okay you have control of when they're gonna get it because you don't have to mail it okay you can just email it to them you're done you have total control over how much inventory you have because you never run out of inventory it's a digital product it's pretty simple there so it's just an ideal product especially for the beginner but you ask yourself jr i can't think of any cool ideas i don't know what to do i don't know what to do an information product on keep watching this video and you will okay step number one is make a really comprehensive list of everything that really interests you or that you have some talent in hopefully it would be both of those but not always now you really shouldn't go any further until you have this list in hand because this is going to be your roadmap to success and you know you're going to initially pick one of them you can't pick five because you can't do five things at once but once you've picked one you can go back to this list and pick another one and another one and another one and the cool thing about information products is as you do more and more of these particular products you can make more and more money and there's no stopping you from doing five or ten or twenty or a hundred of these products and have a lot of money come in now what you want to do after you've made a list of all your products number two is check to see which passions align with the commercial market now what does that mean in simplistic terms that means who out there is selling a course similar to yours who out there is selling a product similar to yours and being successful because if they're selling something similar to you and they're being successful at it my first suggestion to you is buy their product I mean buy it uh, because they obviously have figured something out once you buy their product you're gonna see their emails you're gonna see the product and you can make a product that's even better than theirs okay maybe it has you know more modules to it maybe it has more slides maybe it goes more in depth maybe it looks more attractive when the people log in but having a digital product that is similar to something in the market that's already been successful is really a great idea okay now that you have made a list of all these products uh, or ideas and you have checked in the market to see if it's a viable product to make a profit on you're ready to move on to the next step okay and that's the pretty cool thing now we actually will get into the product itself step three is to immerse yourself in the market and learn every single thing you can about that uh, to give you an example my wife is into dog training so what she does is she watches all kinds of courses on dog training she reads all kinds of books on dog training and nutrition and gets all the information she possibly can uh, and in doing so you're going to find new techniques you're going to learn things you're going to improve your own education on that particular product um, it is super important that you're just totally knowledgeable about it now do you have to be the smartest person in the world on that subject no uh, I've done courses on Shopify I've done courses on you know Facebook ads I've done courses on drop shipping uh, and am I the top person in every single one of those areas no but I know the basics of it and I've done it and I've gotten results in all those areas so since I've done that that qualifies me right to do a course so don't worry about being qualified don't worry about saying well gee JR I've never been to school for that and nobody's ever given me a certificate or a piece of paper you know uh, bestowing upon me that I am knowledgeable okay I don't have a master's degree or doctor degree and any of those things you don't have to that's not necessary nowadays all you have to do is be able to bring knowledge to people that they find useful and they get results out of it. if you can do that 
if you can bring knowledge to people that they find useful and they get results out of then you're qualified that's all it takes and if you're not as qualified as you think you can get more qualified right you can watch videos on youtube you can watch tutorials you can read blogs you can increase your knowledge base it's no longer a world where you have to go in and take courses and at the end of the year they go hey you're at this point now you're at this point next year and then at some point we're going to give you a bachelor's degree once we decide that you learned all these different subjects it's not like that anymore you can really focus in on one thing and get really good at it i watch a lot of cooking channels uh and a lot of those cooking channels i was at the majority of those cooking channels none of those people have ever been to chef school okay they just like what they're doing they enjoy sharing it they study up on stuff they learn how to do different recipes and they make videos they put it on youtube and they make millions of dollars it's really that simple same thing with an informational product that you want to do all you have to do is get knowledgeable on that get educated on that and be able to provide that information that people can get results from number four alternate between reading about your niche and going over the collection of ideas you have now here's what happens as we become more educated about something as we learn more about a particular subject we tend to come up with more ideas so that initial list maybe you had a collection of eight or ten things that you thought would be a good idea once you start studying that niche uh, whether it's how to cook barbecue or whether it's how to sew dresses or whatever it is you picked okay once you start reading in that area, you're going to see there's other areas in there. There's other, you know, sub niches in there that you could do uh, a digital product on. It's going to really expand your mind basically. So what you want to do is get this knowledge, right? You're going online, you're doing all this research, you're learning all these things, and then go back to your list and say, could I add something else to this list? Is there something that I don't have on my list? I should have on my list. Did I, did I uncover a new thing? Did I un uncover smoking barbecue ribs? Did I uncover sous vide barbecue ribs? You know, what did I uncover that I could actually add to my collection here and what you're going to find is that collection is going to expand as your knowledge in that particular niche expands and you want to keep repeating this process over and over and over again into where that collection does expand okay so don't start with your original collection go out and do your research come back to your collection and expand that list super important that you do that and what's going to happen you're going to see this is going to happen as you're doing this research and you're going back to your collection over and over again you're going to have these aha moments and you're going to go wow this is the thing I need to do uh, my my digital course on this is the one that really excites me this is the one that I just think is amazing now some of you out there may come up with three or four different things you may come up with five different things but you know you got to pick the one that you think is going to be best for you now the last step step number five is just create it uh, it's not that hard to create a digital product you can do a number of different things you could use slides uh, you can use PowerPoint Now, PowerPoint is a paid program so you could use Google slides Google is free so you could use Google slides you could voice over the Google slides you could actually do videos um, you could do tutorial videos so if you're cooking you could be cooking in the kitchen you could give the recipes you could do whatever you want there um, but the point is you got to go ahead and create it now now once you have created your course you got to put it somewhere my recommendation over and above all places is Kartra. Kartra is by far one of the best softwares you can use for internet marketing. It does email lists, it does courses, memberships, you know, sales sequences. It just does everything. Okay, I got rid of, I think, eight different pieces of software when I got Kartra. Uh, it's an amazing piece of software. What I'll do is in the description below, I'll put a link to Kartra so you can click on it and watch a video about all that it does. And I can just about guarantee you, if you watch the whole video on Kartra, you're going to want it. And the cool thing is if you use my link you can actually get a trial for only one dollar that's my affiliate link feel free to use that now i don't want you to worry about the creation of this this is where it trips up a lot of people they go well i'm not that good at doing videos i'm not that good at writing i'm not that good at any of these things you don't have to be nowadays you really just have to have the idea down as far as what you want to do uh, get an outline of it um, you can film it on your own if you want if you don't want to be on camera that's okay you could film you know screen capture uh, something along those lines if you don't want to write it i mean you could go to some place like upwork or you could go to fiverr uh, you could give an outline and say you know i want you know 10 videos and they're going to each need to be you know 10 minutes long uh, and i need somebody to write that for me and this is the base information i want you to go from uh, and somebody will actually do that for you so if you don't want to do it on your own and, and this is for somebody who has a little bit of money to invest you can hire somebody else to do it and it's really not that expensive um, you would be very surprised that you know for you know a couple hundred bucks you could probably have most informational products done for you if you want to do that um, i don't really recommend that the first time around i think it's good to make mistakes i think it's good to learn from your mistakes and to get better at it on down the road when you're really good at it that's the time to hire it out 
Um, most people don't look at it that way. They look at it. Well, I don't know much in the beginning and that's the best time to hire it out. The problem with that way of thinking is that when you hire it out, when you don't know anything, you don't know if they're doing the right things. You don't know if they're charging you the right money. You don't know how long things should take. If you've done some of your own informational products first, you know, all these things. So when you go to hire somebody, you're more educated, you know what to tell them you want, you know what to expect, you know what to expect to be charged. So it's really kind of important in the beginning that you do it on your own. Besides that, you can save your money. So I hope that gives you some insight on to what you could do to be successful online as a beginner. You know, it may not have been what you thought, you know, maybe you thought, well, I've got to find the next new product to sell online as a beginner. And that's just not the case. Uh, digital products are the best thing in the world because they're so unique. You know, if, if I'm selling, uh, let's say this, this, uh, Apple watch. Okay. Um, there's only one Apple watch out there and I would have to compare with everybody else and I would have to compete with everybody else. But if I do a course on, let's say Facebook ads, which I do have, and it's down in the description, if you want to look at it, um, that course is unique to me. I did that course. Nobody else has a course like that. Nobody else has, you know, the modules I do. Nobody else has the voice. Nobody else has the way it's written. It's all different. So people can't go out and shop you. If you decide you want to charge $497 for your digital product, that's the value there's there's nothing to compare it to it's not like there's you know two types of you know ford f-150 trucks and they're on two different lots but they have the same equipment you would expect the price to be the same yours can be entirely different you can charge a lot more or a lot less whatever you want to do i hope this video was useful to you if so give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate it put comments below have you tried to work on a digital course um have you ever thought about that before uh, put in the comments below any questions you have about that if you have any difficulties put that in the comments below um, i love getting your comments i love answering your questions don't forget also to subscribe to this channel and if you want to see one of my digital products there is a free course below it's normally 97 bucks but you can opt in for that click on it and learn and there's no credit card required don't forget once you subscribe a bell will pop up next to the subscribe button you want to ring it turn on all bell notifications set it so that you get all notifications so that when i go live or do a new video you will be notified thank you so much for listening i really appreciate you being there and i'll see you in the next video hey thanks for watching my video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time i do a new video also click on one of those videos there keep watching on my channel